have head coach Quentin Hillsman in his 11th <coughs> season at Syracuse, Brittany Sykes, red shirt senior guard, and Alexis Peterson, senior guard as well. Coach, what a year you guys had. What was the experience like last year, national championship game for you guys? It was a great experience. That's why you play to, to win a national championship and for our team to be able to make it to the Final Four and play a championship game, it was, it was awesome. It, it was just a fun, fun time for us and our kids really went competed hard, so we, we had a great time. This is your 11th season. What was so different about last year's team you know, reaching new heights uh, in the program? I think it was just, just total commitment of the season. Um, we, we had a point in the season where we just kind of had to make a decision. Are we going to play hard and compete and play up to, to our level, or are we just going to just keep this thing mediocre? And our, and our players really committed to the process, committed to what, what it take, took to um, be a championship team. You are returning a decent amount of the group that you had last year. So how do you, how do you maintain the level of success that you guys had? Well, it's something we always talk about. We talk about winning every game and winning national championships. So for us, it, it's, just, it's just what we, what we try to do every year. And I think the motivation is what just happened. And we, we understand that if we stick to our process, if we play the way that we're capable of playing, that we can win a championship. So we're very excited about that. Yeah. Um, you're returning four or five starters and your top three scores. But you lose a big part in the sense of Brianna Butler, Taylor, Taylor Ford, Cornelia Fondren, Maggie Morrison, huge part of the program. Um, who, who will imp uh, fill those roles when you look ahead to this season? Well, the thing about our team is, is when, you, when you lose four players like that, I mean, they, they understood what we were trying to do. They, they understood you know, the commitment level and the, and the level of, of conditioning and, and workload it, it, it took to get to that point. But we have some very good young, young players. We, got, we had some players on the bench last year that wasn't able to get enough minutes for them because of, because of our depth. And I think um, this year, it'll be much of the same. Our bench will be deep, we'll just be young. Young coming off the bench, but sometimes young young players, I, I say they're they're blind to the moment, and a lot of times that's a, that's a good thing. Yeah. One of the new faces is five-star recruit Desiree Elmore. What can we expect from her? Well, the, well, the biggest thing about Des is, just, is making sure that she understands college basketball. I think when you have a talented player, they just need to understand what college basketball is like, what, what it was like, what's the, what's the workload, um, how hard you got to work, and the pace and tempo of the game. And, and you know, once she gets that figured out, she's going to be a very big part of what we do. So I'm excited for her development. And you know, as we go through this through this preseason, she gets you know, she work herself into shape and, and get ready to help us. We're going to be a very good basketball team with her on the floor. And what's the mentality of this preseason been like so far? Do you talk a lot about sort of what happened last year? Do you rely on the upperclassmen to sort of convey that message to the underclassmen, or is it just a feeling that's a little bit different? I think the feeling is definitely different. I mean, you can't deny that. It's hard not to when you're, when you're turning every corner, you're reading every article, and he talks about last year. But, but just to the, to the general public, I mean, for lack of a better way to say it, we talk about this stuff all the time. We've been talking about this for nine years on let's win a championship, let's, let's get to the Final Four, let's, let's win every game. So, so for us, our preseason hasn't, hasn't changed. I think that what has changed is our level of preparation, probably, because now we know exactly what it takes mm -hmm. to play that deep into the season and to, and to beat very good basketball teams. And two of the huge keys are returning for you and Brittany and Alexis. What have they meant to the program? Um, and maybe what's even the biggest part of their game that you've seen take a step from last year into this year? I think the biggest thing uh, for those two is just, just, just been their level of conditioning coming, coming from back into the season. Because we're going we're gonna to depend on them a lot to carry the load and, and have the ball, ball in their hands. They're gonna, they're, they're gonna dominate offensive possessions with, with the ball in their hands. So this is for me about what kind of shape will they come back in? Will they be in great condition mentally too? Because this, it's gonna be a lot of, we're gonna depend on them a lot and they're gonna do a lot for us, but they're playing capable. They're, they're, they're two very good guards and they're arguably, I think one of the top two or three backcourts in the country. So I'm excited for them. And you're going into the season 11 wins shy of becoming the program's all-time winningest coach. Um, I'm sure you don't love talking about it, but what I mean, what does a milestone like that mean mean for you when you look back on your career so far at Syracuse? That's amazing. You, you, you look back at your at your players and your and your staff because you can't be a good coach without good players, and and I don't shy away from that. I think that when play, that when coaches start start to think it's about their system, that's when you just lost. 
It's all about players. It's all about getting the, getting the, getting the proper players in your program, good players, having a, having a staff that's uh, committed uh, to winning. And, and I've had that, so I've been very fortunate to have that. So to be 11 win shy is, is amazing. I mean, you know, you don't, you don't think about it until it's brought up. And then obviously it would be an amazing thing for our program. Mm -hmm. And Brittany, you and I were joking yesterday, you're back for your fourth ACC media day, um, but your fifth year going into, uh, and I know that you were sort of deciding what this year was going to look like for you. At what point did you know you wanted to come back and what went into that decision? Um, it's kind of funny because I didn't make my decision until after the season was over. I made sure I promised myself that I, I wouldn't worry about a big decision like that until you know the season was over. And I, I called coach and I'm like, hey, I'm trying to make a decision. He was like, well, you have until a certain time to make a decision if you're going to stay or if you're going to leave for, because of the WNBA and the, you know, the, the calling time for it. I called him within 30 minutes. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to stay for my fifth year. So <laughs> he's like, all right, let's do it. So um, it wasn't that hard. I think after that run, it just pushed me to want to wanna come back and win a national championship and go at it again. I, I couldn't just leave. And, and leave on the national stage and, and not get a ring to, you know, to, to show for it. Mm -hmm. What was that championship run experience like for you? I mean, was there a defining moment in the season that something felt different or was it just sort of all encompassing? I think when we were going on that uh, 11 game run into the ACC championship, we, we started to realize that things were clicking and our, our gears were running and we were just looking at each other like, we can do this. You know, a lot of people, out there don't believe that we can go to the national championship and, and once we started to play in the NCAA tournament you know coach believed in us from day one and once we started to believe in ourselves the way he believed in us it, it nobody could could beat us at that point and we just had to go in and understand that you know we are one of those great teams that everybody talk about you know throughout the years and Alexis for you I mean you've evolved so much as a player and at the point guard position you have a lot on your shoulders what did you take away from the NCAA tournament run um, that you've been able to carry over into this year? Um, I think I really took away just how to be a leader. Um, you know, it was a crazy environment playing in the Final Four National Championship game, but um, I learned a lot from that time. And um, I think at that moment, like I was able to see like what it really takes to be a true point guard and not just from a scoring standpoint, but just getting everyone involved, making sure everyone understands like what we need from them, and also being an extension of Coach Q on the floor. Mm -hmm. From from players' perspective, for you, what's been the mentality of the team in the preseason so far this year? Um, well, we've been extremely hungry. Um, we have a lot of new players, and you know they're really buying into our system. They're starting to understand our culture and um, our expectations of winning, and so. Um, it's been a great preseason for us, just really you know, getting going and everyone getting ready for the season. Mm -hmm. And what have you seen from the freshman group so far? Um, I've seen their eagerness. Um, you know, they, they got to sit back and watch, so they're kind of, you know, they're ready to learn. They're willing to take in anything that we can teach them, anything that we tell them. They're, they're buying into it really quickly, um, and they want to get better every day. Hey, Coach, Doug Feinberg, the AP. How was the run you guys had last year, the buzz around campus so far this year? Has it affected it? And for the players also, I mean, are people talking about excitement about Syracuse basketball now more than they were before making the, the title game? That's no question. It's been an amazing um, welcoming type attitude to our community. Um, I think that one, when you're there, obviously men's, men's basketball, they're, they're phenomenal. Cross is phenomenal country is winning that championship our field hockey program so our, our program as a whole all our programs are winning mm -hmm. and and obviously to have a revenue sports step another revenue sports step up and be able to do that it was a it was a good shot in the arm to our community so we've been getting a lot of support a lot of well wishes and a lot of a lot of eager fans that want, that want to see us play this year and that's all we really wanted to do is go out and be able to establish a program that our community can be proud of and, and we've done that Coach, after losing such strong difference makers on your team, where will you or who will you be looking to for leadership on t on this year's squad? Alexis Peterson and Brittany Sykes. <laughs> That's it. You know, these these two young 
these young ladies is 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 different with, with these two um because i recruited both of them i was actively involved i was the only person that actually recruited lex i don't think she even talked to another coach <laughs> through, through the whole process and and Brittany, i was very involved with that i was with, with kelly in recruiting brit and, and these are two young ladies that i know they know me i know them and and it's going to be very important that we keep that in mind when, when we're on the floor because you know it's, it has some tough moments in the season we got to be able to depend on 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 each other to understand our intention and understand what we're trying to get accomplished and let's win a championship mike potter from Raleigh news and Reserves for both players most teams that get as far as you did in the tournament had a few last second games or something to get to the final but you were dominant in all five of those games what was clicking so well um, I just think um, a lot of the credit goes to our coaching staff. You know, they prepared us uh, extremely well. Going into those games, uh, each game we went into, those, those five, game, five games leading up to the national championship, um, we didn't change anything that we did. We prepared for every team in the beginning of the season, how we prepared for the last team. And I just think our coaching staff gave us the, the schemes and, and the, the scout for those teams. And that's how, that's how we were able to prepare and, and dominate those teams because we, we listened and we bought into what our coaches want us to do. Um, I feel like, yeah, going off what Brittany said, um, we, we had a lot of leadership and a lot of seniorship last year. So at that time, that point in the season, um, everyone kind of bought into their role as a team. It was no longer about I, it was about us. And um, I think that was really a difference maker. We bought into our scheme, we prepared day in and day out. And it, it was almost like easy, but it was like second nature. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations on an awesome